What's new in Awaken OS version 1.2 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Awaken OS version 1.2 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, before we get started, do note we have been following this ROM ever since its inception and we have covered the installation video, videos about version 1.0 and 1.1, all of which can be found in the pinned comment on this video. So make sure you do watch those videos as well. Now the first change you will notice in Awaken OS version 1.2 is that they have the logo for Awaken OS in the about page. Then they have also added the maintainer in this case Saikiran phone specifications are also here and of course the security patch has been updated to October 5th 2020. The kernel they are using is silver core version 6.6 with the build from October 7th, AC Linux is of course set as enforcing. Now before you ask me, Awaken OS does come with IR face unlock and yes, this build has fixed the issue of select not working and you do need to use the build from Awaken OS which comes with gapps baked in and once you install that build, the select option is now working absolutely fine as you can see on your screen right now. Now as for the developers, the only bug in this build is that screencast is not working other than that all your hardware and your Volt should be working absolutely fine. Also note that they have switched over to user builds and safety net does pass out of the box. So as you can see, I do have Magisk Manager installed and I do not have Magisk installed. So you can actually install the Magisk Manager APK without rooting your device. And my device is not rooted right now. We can check for safety net and bam, there it is. You can see safety net is passing out of the box. Now, those of you who do root your devices, you will have to enable Magisk Hide from Magisk Manager settings for you to pass safety net. And because safety net is passing out of the box, this means that you should be able to use your banking apps and any other apps which do require you to pass safety net. The next thing they have fixed is offline charging and they have also added expanded volume panel. So here it is, expanded volume panel working like a boss along with pretty smooth animations. Then they have also added some new tiles. So the new tiles which they have added with this build are the option to change your audio between stereo and mono then a quick setting tile for ambient display, sound search, sync and compass. And yes, the compass tile does work absolutely fine. There it is. And as for the screen recorder, the screen recorder is still not as smooth as you would like it to be. When you start the screen recording, the system UI does get a bit jittery. It might not be visible on camera, but to the naked eye, it is a bit jittery it's not as bad as before but again the small jitter is still there other than that a new thing you will notice in the quick settings panel is that the brightness icon which you see over here is now from oxygen os and yes this build does come with the blur effect which you get with android 11 when you swipe down on your notification shade next up you can go into settings and display styles and wallpapers clock bam there it is lock screen clock styles are back and they do look pretty awesome and these are the different options you have there are a bunch of options and all of them look pretty great next up we can scroll down and go into the lock screen option so yes they have added a toggle for media art on the lock screen and they also have a toggle for lock screen charging info and both these options are working absolutely fine other than that you also have double tap to wake and double tap on the lock screen to put your device to sleep along with ambient display so if you go into advanced you can enable ambient display and your pickup hand wave pocket all these options are working absolutely fine here it is let me flip it over and bam the awesome lock screen clock along with pickup to wake working 
like a boss and of course you do have the battery percentage on your ambient display as well going back into the display settings you do have the option of hiding the notch and the option of configuring full screen applications for certain applications then you also have dark theme and they have added a new font called Lynette, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly along with the option of configuring your icon packs and these are the different options which you get for icon pack and of course Awaken does come with the option of using a custom accent color so just select the color which you want tap on apply and bam you should have the new accent color in the building there it is you can see the Wi-Fi icon is now red and which is the icon which I had chosen moving over to sound so you have a new toggle to link and unlink the ring and notification volumes here it is as you can see as soon as i disable it the slider to change the notification volume is enabled and then if you scroll down all the way you have a new option called vibrate on touch when touching your quick setting tiles so of course i cannot show it off on camera but yes when you touch the quick setting tiles if this toggle is enabled the system ui is going to vibrate next up we can go into security so yes you do have your fingerprint which is super fast along with ir face unlock on this build and yes ir face unlock is also super fast on this build next up we can go into system and then we can go into gestures here if you go into system navigation you can choose between three different navigation styles now if you are using the gesture navigation go into settings a new option has been added to configure the gesture bar length as you can see right now it is set as short you can also set it as medium and next you can also set it as long unfortunately you do not have the option of hiding your navigation bar for now then they have also added three finger screenshot so go into swipe to screenshot enable the toggle for three finger screenshot and bam here it is three finger screenshot working like a boss next up going back into gestures if you go into power menu they have also added the option for advanced restart so let us say i press the power button and press on power now i am having two options power off and restart what if i enable this advanced restart so we can press the power button tap on power one more time bam there it is you can see two new options were added and they are recovery and bootloader so your extended power menu feature is also baked into this build other than that if you go into battery you have the option of per app thermals as well and in terms of animations gestures smoothness everything is pretty smooth and pretty fast there it is you can see there are no jitters and no lags and we should be able to switch between the applications as well there it is no issues at all oh and i almost forgot about this last feature so if you expand your quick settings tap on the edit icon and then tap on the three dot menu on the top right you can change the number of columns you can change the number of columns for landscape mode you can change the number of quick bar columns and you can also enable or disable the toggle to show labels for your quick setting tiles and in terms of android 11 features most if not all of android 11 features are present in this build and we do have a separate video showing off the new features of android 11 and that video can be found in the pinned comment and in the description of this video so there it is peeps those are the new features which were added with awaken os 1.2 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.